So how do you convert fractions to decimals? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years, and we're here to do exactly that. Now, when you convert fractions to decimals, it's actually a straightforward long division exercise. The only thing you have to keep in mind of is, of course, the steps and a couple of details that we'll talk about very soon. So let's do one real quickly here. Suppose you want to find out what 3 fourths is as a decimal. Well, like I said earlier, it's a long division problem. What you do is set up the long division structure. Now, the numerator is always going to go inside, and the denominator is always going to go on the outside. So what you really have is you have to divide 4 into 3. Now, you and I both know that's not really going to happen because 4 doesn't go into 3 whole. So what you want to do is you're going to add more zeros so that you can see exactly where we're going here. Now, because you know that you need more zeros, you do need to put a decimal as kind of a placeholder. So you put a decimal down there on the inside, and you're going to put a decimal up there. And basically, add at least one zero to see exactly what 3 fourths is as a decimal. So, because you know 4 does not go into 3, 4 goes into 3 zero times. So now you're going to move on to the next step and ask yourself, 4 goes into 30 how many times? Well, you'll know that 4 goes into 30 is going to be 7 times. What you do after that is, like we said before, straightforward long division. 7 times 4 is 28. Since you already have the decimal there, you can just go ahead and subtract. 30 minus 28 is going to be 2. Now, you know 4 doesn't go into 2, so go ahead and add another 0 to see if you're going to be able to have a number that will divide evenly. Now, 4 goes into 20 5 times, so 4 times 5 is going to give you 20, so you have 20 down there, and when you do the subtraction, it's going to be 0. Now, therefore, 3 fourths is equal to 0 0.75. So as long as you know to convert from a fraction to a long division exercise, you're going to be fine. Just keep in mind that the numerator is always going to be on the inside, and the denominator is going to be on the outside of the long division structure. So I'm Jimmy, and here's how you do convert from fractions to decimals.